Hi everyone. This video will demonstrate how to create original bibliographic records in WorldShare Record Manager. For information on policies and standards for contributing original records to WorldCat, consult Bibliographic Formats and Standards, Chapter 4, when to input a new record, which includes general and field-by-field -field guidelines to help you determine if you have found a matching record in WorldCat or if you are justified in creating a new original record to add to WorldCat. Once you've determined that you need to add a new record, you can find guidelines for original cataloging in bibliographic formats and standards, Chapter 2. To create an original record in Record Manager, first, you can derive an original record from an existing WorldCat record. This can be useful when you haven't found a record for the item you have, but maybe you've found a record for a previous edition or in a different format. Using Derive, the fields from the record will be copied over to a work form. You will still have to do some editing, but since many of the fields, such as the title and names and subject headings will likely be the same, it can save you some time in completing the work form. Or, if you cannot find a record or a similar record, such as a previous edition or a different format to do a derive, you can create a new record from a Mark 21 work form. You can also complete a text view work form, which is a labeled display of the mark fields. In this video, I'll just be showing you how to derive a new record and how to create a new record from a Mark 21 work form. So let's say I've searched WorldCat for a record for a DVD called Playlist Without Borders by the Silk Road Ensemble. I found this record for the sound recording, a CD audio disc. But I need a record for a DVD of this performance, which I can't find in WorldCat. So I'll derive a new WorldCat record for the DVD from this record. To do this, I can click Derive in the search results screen, but I want to show you the existing record first. So I can click Edit or just click the title to open the full record. If I expand the leader, you'll notice that the type of record is J, Musical Sound Recording. If I expand the 008 field, there are elements appropriate to sound recordings, such as form of composition and literary text for sound recordings. Since I need to create a new record for the DVD, I'll go to the Record menu and select Derive Bibliographic Record. The system confirms that I derived a record. Since the existing record was for a sound recording and I'm creating a record for a DVD, I need to change the material type. To do this, I'll go to the record menu, select Change Material Type, and then choose Visual Material. Now, when I expand the leader, I see that type is now G for Projected Medium or Visual Materials. In the 008 field, fixed field elements have changed to those for visual materials, such as type of material code. I'll select Video Recording and Technique. I'll select Live Action since this is a live performance. And then I'll click Done to save my changes. Of course, other parts of the record still need to be edited, such as the publication information and the physical description. So I would edit the rest of the record as appropriate and then add it to WorldCat. To do this, I would go to the Save menu and select Add Record to WorldCat or Add Record and set WorldCat Holdings to add your library's OCLC symbol to the record at the same time as you add the new record to WorldCat. WMS libraries will have the option to add record and set holding audience level. If you're not ready to add the record to WorldCat, you can add the record to your institution's online save file by selecting Save in Progress Record from the Save menu. Now let's say I'm looking for a record in WorldCat for a book called The Magic You by Mark Adele. 
and I've done a thorough search of WorldCat and have not found a record. To create a new record from a blank work form, click Create Record on the left navigation. I can choose Mark 21 or Text View, and I can also choose to use AACR2 format or RDA. I'll select Mark 21 and RDA. Then I'll select the appropriate material type for my item, which is Book, and then click Create. The work form for material type book displays and is ready for me to begin entering data. Note that some fields have fill characters for the second and third characters of the tag and for the indicators. In most cases, you will need to replace the fill characters with appropriate characters for the item. I'll add 00 for the second and third characters of the 100 field for a personal name. Mark field help is also available from a new record work form. Click in a field. For example, I'll click the 100 field and then right click and select field help, mark field help. And bib formats and standards opens in a new browser window with help on input standards for indicators and subfields for the 100 field. When you are finished editing the work form, you will probably want to validate the record. And control all headings. Then go to the Save menu and select Add Record to WorldCat. Or you can add the record to the Save in Progress file for your institution and come back later to complete the work and add it to WorldCat. If you need additional help, please visit help.oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region. Thanks for watching.